Um, we'll just take over from um, what was the catalyst inside the employee feedback that made you think we got to take this approach? Right. What was the actual feedback? There was um, we were um, we weren't super open to change. There was um, we were successful in what we were doing, but there didn't seem to be a lot of um, uniqueness or innovation within our organization. Um, and along with that was. You know, communicate where you see this is going, and we did. We always we, we like we, which was huge actually. That's really interesting. Yeah, and and we do have we do have a lot of meetings with our staff, and we have a uh, once a year we have a full on meeting that sort of walks through a bit of a state of the union. Yeah, we've been there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's good, but we needed to improve upon that, right. and we needed to improve upon um, sort of you know quarterly letters, quarterly announcements. Um, regular updates in terms of hey here's where we're going here's how we're doing from a sales perspective so it it, it was a slow process um, we wanted to make sure it was refined before we just sort of blah threw it out there and uh, it's been good it's been good and the feedback and especially from some of the younger folks they really want to you can't just say there's your desk go and work anymore they want to be able to say well, what am I working for what's the goal where are we going what's the end result and that's what I love because they obviously want to be a part of it, right? So the, the message then to people that are watching in terms of, you know, if you're in a leadership role, management role, or an entrepreneur with a team, communicate, create clarity, Absolutely. let people know what they're doing, where, Make they're, them part of it. where they're going. Yep. I love that. Get them to own a chunk. Like, you know, more so than ever, we found that those folks that kind of run their their world like a little mini business and make it profitable it's the best way to look at it I love that yeah I got feedback because I don't think we do a good good enough job yet with that idea of like where are we going right now what does this year look like how are we doing so far what is next year going to look like right what's 10 years look like yeah what are we trying to actually accomplish as a team and I, and I think I got some really good feedback uh, last week Cool. about creating more clarity so I think you just nailed it on the head that's awesome you guys will love it and I think too one of the sort of the neat um quiet byproducts is you've got folks coming up saying hey guys you ever thought about this and it's like outstanding yes tell us it, tell, yeah, <laughs> tell us if we're doing something wrong we need to know because we need to change it if we're doing something right how do we figure out how to do it twice as fast twice as hard you know i love that yeah it's almost i was saying it um, to somebody yesterday about this idea that our job as a leadership team is to build a platform for people to be successful and to contribute to the success of the organization Huge. so that they, A, feel safe if they bring up an idea so they don't feel like they're going to get reprimanded, yep. B, they feel encouraged, and C, they're empowered because they realize they're in charge. Yeah. And, and I, I think I've said it a lot, but I don't think it's come through quite yet. But my job, I really feel strongly about this, is to build a platform for people to be able to direct where the company goes because... I think there was this really, what, what was the book? Uh, it doesn't matter, but the idea is that people that are closest to the problems have the best solutions. Absolutely. And if you're in a leadership team, then you, you're, you're close to a lot of problems, but they're not the ones that are front lines with staff and, and clients, which are, I think, the most important. Huge. Yeah. Huge. And especially in a service industry like you and I are, you know, you can make a widget and uh, not necessarily be at the, the, the guy that's selling the widget. If you have a problem with the front line, you got to figure out the manufacturing process, but our product is people yeah. and service. And oh man, if we don't get that right, we're in trouble. Big time. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. All right. So then getting a bit more like micro level in, in the world and life, a day in the life of Mike McKinnon, are there any kind of like philosophies or day to day things that you kind of always keep in mind that kind of keep you on track, that get you doing the things you need to do? Um, is there any kind of like nuggets or, or little words of wisdom 